these records belonged to or written about living people. You would hope that these people did great things. In Charles Sprout's case, he did. He served his country faithfully. And to be able to go to his gravesite and to pay homage to him, it was amazing. I work at the reference section of the National Archives. I deal a lot with Civil War pensions and service records. And I also volunteer here at the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park. I came across Charles Sprout's grave in the National Cemetery here. I was inspired to look up his CMSR and pension and I decided to scan it. A CMSR or Compiled Military Service Record is a record of somebody's war service. And according to his Compiled Military Service Record, he was part of the first United States Colored Cavalry. This correspondence came from Charles Sprout's pension file. It describes his death and where he was buried. He is buried at the National Cemetery in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We're in the far corner of the Fredericksburg National Cemetery uh, amidst the over 15,000 uh, United States soldiers and sailors who are interred here. I think it's very important for us to have someone like Charles Sprout here because he almost epitomizes what the Civil War was all about. He began his life as an enslaved person. He had no rights to citizenship. He was the property of someone else. He was owned by a gentleman by the name of J. Horse Lacey, a prominent slaveholder in the Fredericksburg area. He may have lived either at Chatham or Elwood, and he would move back near Elwood after the Civil War at a place called Wilderness Tavern. The tavern itself did employ several people, including Charles Sprout as well. He would live there, and then he would eventually pass away in Wilderness Tavern. During the Civil War, he escaped and gained his freedom. He notes that specifically in his pension file. He says, April 1861, free. After gaining freedom, Sprout then joins the United States Army. He literally fights for his freedom and those of other enslaved African Americans. After the war is over, he receives compensation from the federal government in the form of a pension for maladies and other physical ailments that he suffered during the course of his service in the Army. This image is a medical certificate. This will describe Charles Sprout's injuries and his ailments of old age. This is part of the justification for a Civil War pension. Charles Sprout's pension and service record are transcribable. I've transcribed a good portion of his combined military service record and pension, and it has also been done by other private citizens as well. These records are really not dead records. They are living, breathing records. They are records of people who actually lived and did great things. And in Charles Sprouse's case, he did. He served his country faithfully and now is buried in a national cemetery. To have a file of documents and information like that which exists for Charles Sprouts is really integral for us to be able to go ahead and share those stories with the public. That's why the, uh, the archives and the information therein are, are really key for us to be able to do our jobs as park rangers.